we're uh, reporting our deep concern about the deteriorating political and security situation in Mali, um, which is, among other things, driving thousands of people uh, to flee their homes continuously. Um, the north of the country in particular now is becoming more and more dangerous due to the proliferation of armed groups in the region. Um, refugees who are pouring into the neighboring countries are reporting the presence of armed militiamen and home guard units set up by local communities to defend themselves. They're telling us that they're fleeing because, of course, they're generalized violence, but also mayhem uh, in, these, in these towns and cities is increasing um, the numbers of armed robbers, um, of um, instability. They're also reporting lack of food. And you know, as you know, Mali itself was one of the top drought-affected countries in the Sahel. I think it's the number two drought-affected country. So they're reporting you know, steep price rises um, and you know, just really concern about just, just sustaining themselves. Um, but also, they're telling us that uh, they had ho hopes um, that this coup might bring peace to the country, and when they saw that this was falling apart, they decided to leave. Fifteen million people directly affected by the crisis in the Sahel, at least one million children at risk of severe acute malnutrition. That's a best case scenario. 1.5 million children is a worst case scenario. Um, it costs $100 to treat and save a child from secure, severe acute malnutrition.